Hey guys, this question is called 2D Arrays and this is a part of the interview preparation kit on HackerRank. I'm going to solve this using Python. In this question, they have given a 6x6 array and they have made an R glass. Here is an example of the R glass. So the numbers are represented from A to G. So in this question, what we're supposed to do is that the total number of R glasses that could be in a 6x6 grid is 16 and we have to find the maximum sum of any of the R glasses that this could contain. Like in this question, the maximum sum was 28, which was this one. So even this square has an R glass of minus 9s, but that is the biggest negative R glass of minus 63. So this can't be the max R glass sum, right? So in this question, we have to write this function called R glass sum and it has an input called array ARR, which has a size of six by six, which is given below. Before we start with the question, let's see this example here. So in this question, there is this one R glass of ones here. Even this is considered as an R glass one zero zero two zero two. And even this is considered as an R glass two four four two one two four. I think this is the R glass with the maximum, which is 19 here. Yeah, that's the one. So if you look, so if you look closely in this, you can see that to find all the squares, to find all the cells in this R glass, we need to basically find this index, index of one, and then we can just find the position of this, which would be like uh, one row above, one row below. This is the same column. This is the same column. This is one column behind, one column ahead. So basically, it's a three by three box around this cell. So for that, if we check this cell, we can exclude all the outer boxes and we can only consider these 16 cells here, which would be the centers of our R glasses. So let's get started with the question. So first thing I would define is the max variable. Now I could define it as max equal to zero, but in this case, what if this minus 63 was the greatest one and the other R glasses had something even lower than minus 63? In that case, we would have to have something very low for max. We could have something like minus 10 mil, like 100,000 or something like that. But the more correct, the more correct way to do this would be we could write max is minus float inf this basically is like the equivalent of max int in c++ so this is like the lowest possible number that we can have in python so obviously any number that we get in the sum would be greater than this and it would soon replace this so we can initialize a sum called zero and zero is greater than minus infinity so the, in the first iteration where we compare it, this will exceed this and max would be replaced by zero. So after this, we can run a for loop. And the range would be one to five because here, this is from zero to five. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's from zero to five. And since we're counting from this index till this index, which is from one to four, in Python, it doesn't count the last digit here. So it giving this five means it's up to five. It's not including five. So that's from one to four. And similarly, another loop for J in range one to five. We can actually uh, have some here and not here because we are taking the sum for every individual R glass and not the total sum here so this would be better otherwise it would always keep adding to the sum and not like the final answer would always be the maximum but it would not be the sum of our r glass so we would initialize it inside and now we just simply add all the elements of the r glass so first of all we add the element on which we are which is a central element here d now I'm writing this on separate lines so that so that it's easier to understand. But you could do it on the same line as well. So now we're considering these three elements here. 
ABC, which would be array. It's one row above, so it's I minus one and one column on the left. Then we have another element, which is the one right above it, which is B. So it's just one element, one row on top and the same column. And then wait a second. I think I put an extra bracket here. Yeah. And now we are taking the right one. So it's array I minus one and J plus one. So now we just copy this and just change all the i minus ones to i plus ones to take the bottom row. And there we have the sum for every hourglass when it iterates through index 1 1 till index 5 5. Now all we have to do is I'll just give, an, give a space to make it clear. Now we just have to compare the sum with max. If sum is greater than max, then max is equal to sum. And we just return sum. Sorry, return max. And yep, there is a code for finding the maximum R glass for a 2D array. Yep, it works. Thank you for watching, guys. Hope you liked the explanation. If you did, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I'll be regularly uploading videos. I'm going to cover every question in the interview preparation kit and also others. If you have any suggestions or if you have any difficulties in solving a particular problem, be it on HackerRank, LeetCode or any other website that you know of, do let me know in the comments below and I will make a tutorial on that as well. Thank you guys. See you in the next one.